Hi, my name is Gordon from Gimeo, and today I'm going to show you how to import, export, or copy your email signatures from Apple Mail. There's a couple of reasons why you might want to be doing this. Um, for example, if you're changing computers or if you're moving offices or departments, it's easy to simply take your existing email signature rather than having to create a whole new one from scratch again. Um, so there's a couple of methods to do this. Um, I will show you the first way which is basically copying your email signature directly from your sent items. So what you'll want to do is you'll need to set up your Apple Mail on your new computer. So go to your new computer, set up your Apple Mail and make sure that all your emails are synced to your mailbox. And once you've done that, once your emails are synced, um, all you need to do is click on the sent items and then find an email that you've sent that has your email signature in it. So with, with this one, I've, I'm using an example signature. Um, uh, once you've found the signature that you want to uh, copy that you've used uh, in the past, simply select it, the whole thing and then um, press Command C or just click on Edit and then Copy it does exactly the same thing. And um, then you go to Mail, Preferences, select your account and then click on the plus and then click on and then type in your uh, name for the signature. And then what you want to do is uh, select all by uh, pressing command A and then removing that that's in there and then pressing command V which pastes the signature in there. Now I've named it Gordon one. So I'll just show you that it looks the same. Gordon one and there it is. So I've got my old email signature back. Uh, just by copying it from the sent items um, and uh, it's easy it's as easy as that really it's, it's there's not much more to it so to export your email signature and save it to a file uh, what you'll want to do first is uh, go onto your old computer so make sure you're, you've got your old computer open and your apple mail is completely closed then open up finder and then what you'll want to do is click on go and then Hold the option button on your keyboard you'll see this library link pops up uh, that's me just tapping it there so if i hold it i can see that library um, part comes up and i can click on that once that's open uh, there's a couple of different places where your signatures can be depending on if you're on icloud or if you're not i'm not using icloud so mine is simply in the mail folder and then in this v3 folder now it could be v2 or another version uh, there. Um, it, whatever version it is, it'll be just uh, one of the v folders. So in this case, mine is v3, just open that one up and then open mail data. And then what you wanna do is copy this whole signatures folder uh, onto a USB stick um, or an external hard drive. Um, so I'll just show you what's in there quickly. You'll see there's some signature files basically in there. You'll need all of these in order for your signatures to work. And I'll just show you what I mean by that. If I click back, um, what I'll do is I'll take this signatures folder out of here. So if you remember before I had two signatures in my Apple Mail and now I'll open Apple Mail again and there should be no signatures in there now when I open it. And there you go, it's got no signatures in there because we've taken out that signatures folder. So I just close that off again. So now when you go onto your new computer, you simply navigate to the same path, um, which is library in, in your library, uh, mail, uh, v3 or v2 or any v version, and then slash mail data. When you're uh, obviously creating a new account, there'll be no signatures folder in there. Uh, and what you'll wanna do is go to attach your USB thumb drive and then uh, copy and paste that signatures folder back into there like so. Uh, for this example, I obviously just moved it to my desktop, but uh, you can see what I mean. Um, imagine if the desktop was uh, your USB thumb drive. So now I've pasted the signatures folder back in there. If I open up mail again, my e email signatures should be in there now, which they are. If you're looking for an email signature, why not try our free email signature generator called Gimeo? We've got over 40 templates to choose from and they're all completely free to use. One of the great things about Gimeo is that you can create email signatures not only for yourself but for your entire team really, really quickly by applying certain fields to just this signature or to all the signatures in the group. 
The other great thing as well is that you've got a ton of styling options. You can choose a whole bunch of different fonts and social icons and many other things as well. So why not give us a try? Head over to gim.io and create your free email signature. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.